Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our Amion campaign. In the last episode, we had an almost decade-long war against Larnkar and ended up coming out victorious. We took a large chunk of uh, land up here and max money. And on top of that, we also convinced some of their vassals to rebel against them. So I think all in all, we could say that was a very, very successful war. Now, we need to chill out a little bit. There are a couple things that we need to do so that way we can actually start to move down our mission tree. We need to build a temple and a marketplace in our capital. We don't even have admin tech for yet. We are on Miltech 6. We need to take admin tech. We need to finish developing the Renaissance in our capital and embrace that because uh, you just have to. I don't know. It's just how the game works. You got to have it. Uh, we need to start improving with some of our neighbors and a lot of our neighbors actually need to be improved with. So let's get to work on that first. We're going to improve with you and we're going to improve with, I believe, is it you that needs to be improved with or is the one in the north there? Nope, not that one. Yeah, it's you. You are actually independent, too. So I could just ally you. The ally to Kirka. I don't know who that is. Who Who is that? It's you. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and ally you. Because we need to do that. Anyways, and that gets our relations with them. Just so we can plan for the future stuff. We'll still improve. Uh, and then we need to improve relations with a bunch of these little guys running around here as well. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, now, I was going to drill my troops. I think we're just going to save money, though. We're going to save money except for one troop, which is going to drill, which is going to have our leader assigned, because I want our leader to die, to put it simply. I want our leader to die. Uh, nothing personal. It's just he's bad. <laughs> he's bad, and we have Sportition, so it will get better. We'll get a better person if we do that. Uh, we do have to pay for our troops again for rebels and such. Uh, that is very nice. I will go ahead and debase here to get 186 monies. And then I will gain that to get rid of corruption. Uh, now I'm saving my money because, again, we're developing an institution here. And I'm focusing admin, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, we really need to get this sortition up and running as soon as possible. We already have it unlocked. We just need this guy to die. And did you just rival me? No. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, I don't care about that. That's fine. That's fine. You can be mad. Uh, let's see. It's you, it's you, and it's you. Alright, we'll improve there. Whatever works, whatever works. Change a political philosophy. I don't know what this does. Choose a new political philosophy which will lead our nation. I think it's talking about our religion. Yeah, yeah, I think it's talking about our religion, which is fine. We'll just leave it there. Uh, when can I revoke land again? I can in a couple years. Now, we are also, uh, just so you know, converting our vassal's land. Do we have a missionary strength guy? No, we do have an all-power cost guy. You know what? I will hire you, and then I'm going to fire and try and find a missionary strength. Uh, yeah, we'll repay the loan since we have it here. I kind of want to save money to embrace the institution, though. But, okay, sweet. Oh, he's level two. <laughs> I was going to say that's good, but now it's less than stellar. Less than stellar. We're not going to develop with admin. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Now, I have been informed in the comments that uh, there's a lot of culture conversion that needs to happen in this mission tree. So we're probably going to have to go religious ideas first. Now, you may be saying, uh, Poey, I think you've forgotten. You do not have any admin tech and you'd be correct you'd be correct we'll survive we'll get over it somehow don't know how but we'll do it uh let's go for the higher developed colonies plus one to each development and colony finish i i mean these are fine and good but we are colonizing so we might as well get a little bit of extra dev out here so it's, it's some pretty good trade goods so i don't mind making that a little bit better yeah i'm pretty sure the the political philosophy thing is to change this because this is a less of religion more philosophy yeah, yeah, yeah we don't do that at least I don't want to spend the money on it right now. Uh, we'll lose the... Or we'll gain corruption. I don't want to risk losing the stability. Especially when we're trying to convert things. And there we go. There is Renaissance in our capital. How far away are we from embracing it? A couple hundred ducats off. That is fine. The sooner we get it, the better, though. Obviously. Obviously. All right. Let's go ahead and just provoke these rebels. We know where they're going to spawn, so... Just kidding, I don't, apparently. I thought I was going to spawn there. Is this more development? Yeah, I just 
was wrong. L. Uh, our leader's a conqueror. I mean, that's fine. People want alliances. I'm not sure I want to ally you all. Not sure if that's really the play here. Monopoly Company founded 50 Diplo points or a bunch of money. Oh, boy. Money would let me embrace institution. The Diplo points would help me catch up on Diplo tech. I mean, I think we take the money here. And just embrace tech. Or institution. How much do we make for money? Uh... 10 years of more trade efficiency. I'm going to take the Diplo power. I'm going to take the Diplo power. Uh, we're looking at governing capacity. Pretty good. We could state this stuff up. I'm not too tempted, though. I'd rather take tech. Tech is more important. Now, I should be building a spy network here. So, truce is going to be up very soon. And we'll just go and annex them real quick. I think is the play. Just go annex them. Move on. Uh, okay. We've improved relations with you. We literally just need to get to have a tech four. <laughs> that... That is our bottleneck for our mission tree right now. So we just got to chill. Got to chill. Uh, we will fire the all power cost guy. And hire the missionary strength guy. Yeah, we'll do it. I just have to remember to rehire the all power cost when, uh, when it's time to take tech. Okay, let's bring all of you up here. And then we will go to war immediately and get this annex. Yes, it's more admin points. We'll get over it though. We'll get over it. Uh, do I have any possible rivals? I would assume so, since I got rivaled. Yes, I do. You. Hello. Uh, would you like to get uh, scornfully insulted? Thank you. Thank you for my power projection. Now back up above 50. You'll love to see it. Oh, he already has claims. Okay. Well, I mean, I still want to get my claim. I built the spy network up, so I might as well. All right. And I think we take this. Is there any reason to hand this over to him? I mean, he will become a vassal. I mean, I suppose there's no reason not to give it over to him. Well, we're going to have a lot of vassals, I think, so we're, we're just going to take it for ourselves. It's not that much development. We will survive. We will survive. All right, and, and we can just stay on speed five for this war. Like, we're going to smash him. We're much farther ahead in mill tech. We have more troops. We have better troops. We have every possible advantage you could think of. And there we go. War's over. Keep drilling. How old is our ruler? He is 50 years old. Okay. It's not impossible for him to die here. It's not as likely as I'd like it to be, but it is possible. All right, there we go. Against warlords. This will make them a vassal. I'm going to hold off on that until after the war, because I don't know if being at war is going to bug that out or not. Because usually when you, you switch stuff around like that in a, in a war, well, you're not allowed to. So I don't want to I don't want to risk breaking it for no good reason. If we could just simply wait. They'll give us an extra missionary too, which is nice. There we go. Take all that land. Give me all that money. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, now all of this, yeah, these are two culture groups. These are the same ones that we already had. I know that we need a culture group. We still might accept but I think we're probably going to be fine for missionary strength, but that's what I'm most worried about. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that wasn't like a random culture that we did not already have in our nation. All right, and against the warlords can be completed. As we tame the lands of Lascaris initial foothold, we see the fruit of our labor begin to manifest already in Korometran. There are... There, their elite gather in their capital, eager to adopt the ways of the civilized world. It shall be far easier to bring them into the fold when they speak our language, and easier to administer them when they view politics through the same lens as we do. So, they become a regular vassal, instead of an autonomous vassal. Uh, the clarion becomes the primary culture, and the culture will shift. From now on, any owned Keone cultured provinces in mainland Taekend or Larankari Highlands regions will shift to clarion. And Clarion provinces receive 25% institution spread. We get first steps for 25 years, gives plus one missionaries and 3% missionary strength. Okay, the Lauren, Kara, Highlands, and Take End areas. I mean, that's. Is it going to shift automatically here? So it feels a little broken. Maybe it's like another. Oh, they must get their own special group here. Own special culture. Nope. 
It didn't change anything. Weird. All right, all right fair enough. Uh, let's get this colonized. I have no colonists to send. What? Oh, I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean I don't have any colonists to send? Uh, you move over here for whatever reason. Yep, core that up. All right, uh, prepare the next push. Carefully coordinated, our march across Taken is not as cha the chaotic barbarity that the Takendi are accustomed to. Instead, it is a planned course, learning of local defenses and military capabilities of our enemy before we engage them. They may have strength in numbers, but we have strength and capability. And numbers. And tactics. And advantage. We're, we're better than them every way. I hate to say it. <laughs> I hate to say it. Uh, we get a bunch of claims on provinces I'm pretty sure I already own. And we gain 20 army tradition. Yep, so now no province in the Taken region can have devastation. Well, I can fix that with a little bit of military development. Maybe. Devastation leads here. Okay, let's go to the map mode. Devastation map mode. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, really unfortunate that we just took all this land in a war then. <laughs> oh, nice, our person died. Uh, we will go for... We'll let the lottery decide. Honestly, I don't like this guy either, so we're gonna get rid of him, but I can't afford to lose that Republican tradition for, you know, a guy that's 72 years old. Like, the 70, the 72 year old was absolutely better in every way, but he's 72, so why would I waste my Republican tradition on a guy that's gonna die immediately anyways, you know? Doesn't make much sense to me. Now, can I integrate you immediately? Or do I have to wait another 10 years? I have to wait another 10 years. Okay. Uh, let's get to improving with you. Make sure that you are still liking me a whole bunch and we can max out our relations with you for that mission. Now we have to be ready for it. Uh, we might as well drill at this point. We are making a little bit of cash. How did this war go? Okay, so the vassals won their wars. So they are independent and allied to each other. So we can go ahead and uh, launch these guys slowly but surely. Probably start down here. And then go into Lauren Car. This is this is really good for us. Very, very good for us. Uh, let's make sure that we keep on converting and make sure that all of our conversions have the edict. Yes, okay, cool. Uh, we have a government reform that we can choose. Religion within the Republic. Philosopher influence. Curtail clergy privileges. Expand temple rights. And maintain balance of power. I think we're going to go for expand temple rights here. Because we're probably going to want to build a bunch of churches in some of the higher developed provinces. And it will give us just a little bit more stuff. What is this? For our decades, our chosen governing philosophy has acted as a lodestar, guiding the vessel of our city-state forward. However, every, however, every ship must eventually come to shore, and so has ours. The members of our Senate, or Sincletos, have been clamoring for a governmental shakeup and a new governing philosophy to accompany it. What shall guide this coming generation of senators? Uh, Meritoritic rule shall lead us. Admin advisor cost minus 20%. Or the dictates of Isparokeus or Kius shall lead us for Diplo advisor cost. Oh, uh, we'll go for the admin advisor cost. Because, you know, that's the very expensive one that we have hired right now. So that makes some amount of sense to me. Yes, and after our very, very aggressive start, now we have to kind of Sit back and and chill out a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. Uh, devastation has gone there. It's almost gone there. Another couple months, and it will be. Uh, apparently, we have some rebels that want to rise up. I suppose that's fair. We did just conquer you. Corruption. I'm not really tempted to lose a stab, so I won't. Uh, let's grab our all power cost guy. See, look at that. I remembered. I remembered. Our mages are not currently loyal. We could... We could wait for our mages to become loyal again. Nah, it makes it more expensive for tech. For ideas, that's worth it. For tech, it's it's not worth it, I don't think. All right. Then I will take admin tech four. Huge. 1474, by the way. Uh, immediately build a school in our capital. There we go. Now we're back on the, the path to success here, and we'll go back to missionary strength, because that is what we are severely needing right now. Uh, do not let them devastate that, please and thank you. Would appreciate it if this devastation went away. There we go. 
And that means civilization in Taikend is completed. We own 10 provinces that are not in the initial invasion province group. And in some areas. And six own provinces are cores. And in some areas. And no own province has devastation. So we push ever closer to the Amaryam of Larankar, and it is becoming increasingly obvious the fate of Taekend shall be decided between us. We are reluctant to admit it, but we are not yet prepared to take them on in head-on battle. I don't know about, I don't know about that one. Uh, however, if as we continue to bring peace in our wake, we continue to differentiate ourselves from their tyranny. While they rule over their subjects with an iron fist, we shall handle ours with gloves of Kamani silk. Uh, Nyor M. Chaos gets regional capital to the end of the game. Give minus two unrest, 25% local tax, minus 25% province governing cost. Paper will now be produced. I gain permanent claims on the Yan Hadpir and Thick Virstana provinces in Taken region not owned by me, Larenkar, or their subjects. Huh. Well, that did a whole lot of nothing. Well, it gave us paper, I guess. But it did a whole lot of nothing for our claims. <laughs> Apparently, we're just too too goaded with the sauce even uh, we are simply too good too good at what we do and we conquer too quickly force religious unity get rid of our edict there keep that one there drill you what do you want uh, fine also get stuff above 30 oh close close to above 30 do I want to develop up above 30 to sell titles I mean probably at some point at some point, that would be a good idea. But now we're just waiting for this. And then we do other things. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to do stuff and, and things. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and state all this up now. I know that we're behind on tech. Yes, yes, yes. But low autonomy is is good for us. All right. Uh, a city for the state. While our strength is comparable, if not greater, than the true Chaons from which our ancestors hail, it is known that Emion is not a glory as glorious a city as the Chaons. As we seek to civilize the Taekendi, we must demonstrate the core principles of Kaianism, the place and power of the city within any civilization. Gain 200 crowns over 25 years, minus 10% dev cost, 30% institution spread. All right. Uh, we have the... So this is going to do a war. Hmm, okay. This is just going to give us subjugation CVs for 25 years. This is also going to give us a subjugation CB for 25 years. Uh, let's start improving with you, and let's do this one. Let's move over there, though. That way we can actually be helpful, you know? Uh, rebels, though? Uh, let's provoke these rebels before we go. That way they don't pop up in the middle of this war and cause issues. We do not want issues popping up while we're on the other side of our empire here are there any other valuable buildings we can build uh yeah that's definitely useful and those are all right all right any of the rest of these a big deal yeah but i can't provoke you so oh well tree research is heretical all right that's fine and we can start the war now because it's, it's gonna take them a while to move over to uh the akate league the Nakis were founded by the Kaons over a millennium ago for the twin purposes of finding resources for the Kaons and to create homes for those overcrowding the cities to move to. Our own origins lie in the Nakis, and we have always preferred diplomacy with them, if nothing else, due to their proximity. Uh, M. M. Grimos recently found itself without a Kaon overlord due to the fall of Kimanis, and this gives us an opportunity to create an alliance between the two of us and the Naki between us, Dayan. With our leadership, the Antic Reach could become a new center of power in the Kaoni world, the Ektate League. All right, we add them as historical friends. They declare independence, and we join their wars. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da. There we go. All right, so let's move our guys on over. This does put us at war with, uh, well, pretty much all of them. But we have a tech advantage, and we're cool, and they're not. So we'll win. Simple, simple as. <laughs> simple as that. Simple as that. Uh, one thing we could do, feels a bit risky though, uh, but we are going to convert everything. So let's go ahead and give out religious, not culture. No, 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 Not religious culture. Enforce the unity of faith. That's what I'm looking for. Not religious culture. That is, that would not go well, considering most of our country is not the correct, uh, accepted culture. That would not go well at all. In fact, I would be bold enough to say it would go poorly, very poorly. Uh, but the extra missionary strength, that I'm fine with, since we have to convert it all anyways. 
All right. Uh, all right. Let's move on in here. We will send our mercs. Let's hire another general. All right. It's not great, but he's got a siege pit for us. Send our mercs onto the siege to help out. Uh, I don't think we should bring our navy around. We probably don't have any naval superiority. And it's not really worth losing our boats over. Now, the unfortunate thing about this war, the AI is in charge of it. So, I have no control over the peace deal. Yeah. That's a problem. That's a, that's a problem. Do that. So, we could be stuck in this for a very long time. Especially if I am not willing to bring my navy over. And I'm not... Uh, yeah, they have eight galleys. Those eight galleys would tear apart our poor little light ships. <laughs> tear them to shreds. I mean, maybe they don't... No, they are blocking the straight. They're blocking it here. All right. Well, I guess now we wait for the AI to decide to leave. Okay, or they let us cross. Oh, they're being attacked by someone else. Well, now that changes things, doesn't it? That changes things. Okay, get our boaty boats together. All the boats we've got and send them over. Not because they'll be effective, but because they'll probably scare them off. Uh, can I have access through you, please? Thank you. Okay, we do engage their navy, but it doesn't matter. We are able to defeat them with numbers alone. And now we are on to the mainland of Chaos for the first time, probably in our country's history. Uh, since we were founded, we are back. We're home. And now we're going to burn everything to the ground. <laughs> this is what you get. You should have known. You should have known better. Also, they ally with the... Uh, aren't these guys like heathens? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here because you're heathens. That's why we're here. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Just uh, defending the, the motherland. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what it is. Definitely not here because I'm forced to be here. Cities demand old rights. Uh, no. Can you please stop... Taking away my governing reform progress, I'd appreciate it. The game is like doing that like crazy right now. They sneak over here? No. Okay, all their troops are down there. That is fine then. Go and make sure these guys are all occupied. No problems. Make sure that we don't leave any of our troops alone either. Uh, we are technically losing some inno here, so. We're going to need to take that. Did I not Im Oh, there are definitely people yelling at me for that one. Oh, there's definitely people yelling at me for not taking uh, the institution there. Mm -hmm, that's fair. That's fair. You know what? Fair enough. Uh, my bad. My bad. We'll see how much money we get out of this war, and then we might have to sell titles. All right, there is the Independence War. They grant it, and they gave a bunch of prophecies to people. All right. And we eclipsed our rival. 71 power projection. Let's head on home. Get our boats on home. We are very close to uh, embracing institutions. We will go ahead and do that now. We will take Diplotech. Beautiful. Lara Card no longer considers me a rival. How long is that truce? That truce is almost up. So our mission tree is going to push us into wars in this direction. I guess we can do that before fighting all of Larkar's guys, but like, I don't know. This seems like it's such, such an easy war for us to do at the moment. I don't know. Okay, we got lots of zealots here. Lots and lots of zealots. Oh, okay. Interesting. So in order to make the culture change, we have to have uh, in the institution spread. The peoples of Taken are vast and plentiful if properly organized. They could forge a nation in any shape they chose. Fortunately for us, they have yet to be organized, so we shall adopt them into our organizations, so that the nation forged within these lands is one that follows the principles of Kaonism. All right, the culture will shift to Clary, Clariel, Clarion. 3% institution spread, prosperity growth, and devastation reduction. Pretty good. And we have an election here. Wow, these guys are bad. And we got the 230. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, we do need to run back and deal with these rebels. 
So let's grab our regular troops to do that. And our mercs are going to go on Black Flag because we're going to subjugate some people here. The problem we're going to run into is they're going to be super disloyal. Uh, you want me to colonize something? Okay, well, that that's, that's not good. I don't have any claims either. Because I wasn't planning on going to war with them. Um... I mean, this would give me a claim. You know, Palaya Piercy area. Let's do it. Larkar is about to attack someone, though. But if we wait and Larkar declares that war, then we'll be set. We'll be fine. We'll have to wait and see if they actually declare it, though. Uh, let me know what they're up to. Oh, he accepted a threat in war. You suck. You suck. Well, that could complicate things. Oh, that troop's very dead. That could complicate things. How many troops am I allowed to have right now? Uh, 44,000? Okay, go ahead and build up another couple guys. Another couple dudes. Just to try and tempt them away from me. I... I don't... Oh my god. How many governing points are you going to try and take away from me? Uh, I don't know the likelihood of them declaring that, but uh, hopefully it's not going to happen. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, bring all of you together. Awesome. We are still converting. Make sure we keep doing that. Uh, let's see here. We need to check where these rebels are. All right, split in half. Half of you going to go here, half of you going to go here. I really want to get into this war, but I need to wait for this guy's rebels to spawn. Because they're religious rebels. Oh. Or we got rid of them, actually. Well, that's even better news. There we go. There's there's Miltech. So now they definitely shouldn't, uh, shouldn't attack me. I wouldn't think. I guess they could. Uh, let's go ahead and approach... Metibahar here. Maybe they'll accept vassalization. Who knows? Uh, the Metibar gather in their valley peacefully every once in a while to partake in their religious practices. If we were to attend one of these gatherings, we can use their banner of peace to conduct diplomacy with their leadership and lay the groundwork for their incorporation under a meon like the Tekendi. They will not submit voluntarily, but knowing and respecting their customs will leave any tensions their subjugation will create. Okay, well, it looks like they're not going to hand it over. Uh, Clycus Threrthines Apukakos meets with, oh, well, I'm butchering these names, I'm so sorry, meets with Chief Aldar the first in the latter seat of power in Mazara, where his, le where, where his learns of traditions of independence and past rebellion against slavery. It becomes clear that Thrernis and the Metabahar will not accept oppressive rule, so therefore, the key to establishing an Emioni rule here is for them to be treated as equals. While this tribe may prove a thorn in the side of those uninformed, Metbihara may it prove to be a respectable civilization under our guidance, even if they must be convinced by force. They may soon hate us, but their children will celebrate us. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting theory you've got going there. Uh, Alright, let's provoke these rebels. There we go. And then we can run over and start to get that subjugation underway. I say that in the nicest way I possibly can, but, uh, I mean, it's not very nice. <laughs> Uh, new trade research heretical don't care we'll do those missions once we've already got this guy secured actually we should probably do it now yeah we should do it now uh, the feline riders of Chindayan steps not only partake in barbaric acts of rain and plunder but they embody them to them their freedom must come at the expense of others if we are to prevent these practices we must not only understand them but show them the consequences of their hostility a trip north uh, Kalakas Thrindrides ventured north into the Chendayan steppes with the intention of learning of their customs and engaging an interest in buffeting from Emioni rule. He received his answer at the tip of the spear, with him and most of his entourage slaughtered and mauled by their felines. It is clear their barbarity shall only be ended by the might of the phalanx, and they will be taught to despise the acts of the ancestors. Savages, savages. Uh, honestly, kind of huge. He was bad. Our next guy's worse. No, he's better. He's better. Honestly, yeah, you know what? Pretty cool. Pretty cool them to do that for me. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
All right, well, we are out of time for today, but next time, so tomorrow, uh, we will subjugate here, we'll subjugate here, here, here. We'll get all these guys under our control, and then we will turn our eyes once more back in this direction. I would like to, I think, take the uh, this culture group next. Just because it'll make good borders. It does mean that we have to give up the gold mine, but our economy is pretty good. Like, yeah, we're losing money, but we have a level two advisor right now that we really can't afford, and we're converting, and we have a lot of troops. Like, a lot of troops. 42,000 troops is a lot to have at this moment in time with our setup, but it's fine. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. But that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.